Budding of Aaron's Rod by Discipleship for Kids. Korah rebels against Moses and Aaron. The Lord selected Moses and Aaron to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. He gave the Israelites the Ten Commandments through Moses. Now Korah, Moses and Aaron's cousin, gathered a crowd of leaders, accusing Moses and Aaron of exalting themselves. Korah said, All are holy and with the Lord. But Korah was not holy. He was jealous of Aaron. He wanted to be the high priest. This was an open challenge. Moses fell on his face and sought the Lord's guidance. Moses instructed the people to gather in the morning. He said, the Lord will show who belongs to him and who is holy. He reminded the Levites in the crowd, God has already given you honor by choosing you from all the tribes of Israel to be near to the Lord in the tabernacle and to minister to the people. They continued to grumble saying, Moses and Aaron took us away from Egypt, a land flowing with milk and honey. They had forgotten they were slaves and suffered hardship in Egypt and that it was God who had delivered them. The next morning they gathered and the glory of the Lord was present. The Lord told Moses and Aaron to separate themselves from the people as he was going to deal with them instantly. Moses and Aaron fell on their faces and pleaded with the Lord. They wanted an opportunity for people to step away from the grumbling crowd. People were given an opportunity to move away. Next, the ground opened up and swallowed the rebellious people, including their tents. From that day on, only Aaron and his family performed the task of offering incense in the tabernacle. Korah and his family used to do this job. Israel rebel against Moses and Aaron. Believe it or not, the very next day, the Israelites were angry again. They blamed Moses and Aaron for the death of the grumbling crowd. The glory of the Lord appeared again. And again, the Lord wanted to consume them instantly. Again, Moses and Aaron fell on their faces to seek God's guidance. Moses said to Aaron to quickly burn incense as an atonement to save the people from the wrath of God. When Aaron went to do as Moses asked, the plague began. Aaron stood with the incense between the living and the dead. The disease immediately stopped spreading and no one else died. 14,700 Israelites died that day. Budding of Aaron's Rod To stop the grumbling against Moses and Aaron, the Lord commanded Moses to call together the 12 tribes of Israel and collect each of their leaders' rods and place them in the Lord's tent. The rod is a symbol of authority. He said, the one whose rod sprouts is the one I choose. The next day, flowers and almonds had grown on Aaron's rod. The Lord told Moses to place Aaron's stick near the sacred chest for all time, as a warning to anyone who might think to rebel. 